So we would like to welcome everyone here to Lymph Laugh Live. It is the first show of the year of 2021. And guys, I, I think everyone's excited about having the opportunity to hear from our guest today is Dr. Shekhar. He's coming in from Pennsylvania. He's one of the leading Ayurvedic physicians in the United States of America. And before I formally introduce him and give him the controls and give him the PowerPoint, I just want you to hear a little bit about him. He's so impressive. Um, he was trained in India and has been practicing and teaching Ayurveda worldwide since 1988. And he wants us to know, and he's going to go into this, Ayurveda is not just a system of alternative systems of healing, but is actually a comprehensive and ancient science of health, which I can attest to. It is Dr. Shekhar's belief that due to the open nature of Ayurveda and its timeless principles, it is a boon to those of us living in the modern stressful world. Oh my gosh, is that not us? And as we come into 2021, we want to calm it down. Dr. Shekhar's mission is to educate and help people live healthier lives with Ayurveda. And Dr. Shekhar recently appoint, was appointed as a professor emeritus for Joyati, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it correctly, exactly. um, Women's University, but you can tell us, Dr. Shekhar, how do I say that? And he's also the adjunct professor for various universities and colleges in India abroad. Dr. Shekhar has the opportunity to serve at Maharishi Vedic schools and at universities in the Netherlands, in Austria, Hungary, Italy, Germany, France, Switzerland, Great Britain, Ireland, Portugal, Spain, Belgium, Trinidad, Guadalupe, Jamaica, Colombia, Peru, Costa Rica, Canada, Mexico, and yes, right here in the USA today, <laughs> we're so fortunate to have him. And he has taught Ayurveda courses in many prestigious universities in the US, including the University of Pennsylvania. So, hey, John, you wanna have this connection. You both are from Pennsylvania and have that mutual connection. Um, he's been at the University of Medicine and Dentistry in New Jersey, Hershey Medical School, Jefferson Medical School, University of Pennsylvania Nursing School and many others. And so guys, you're gonna be in for a treat today. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pass the controls over to the master. So Dr. Sheka, you just let me know, make sure that you have the hosting ability. We wanna follow all things lymph and autoimmune that Ayurveda has to offer. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, it's a great honor to be with you all. And um, even though it's early for all of you, but uh, it is a day, good day for us. And it's a nice snow day in Pennsylvania and New Jersey in the East Coast area. And uh, I would like to share my screen. And before that, let me introduce myself as uh, uh, Lisa has mentioned that uh, we have a medical school in India, like in a medical schools here, osteopathic medical schools and allopathic medical schools. In a similar way, we have a medical schools like an Ayurvedic medical school after finishing of 12th grade with the botany, physics, chemistry, geology. Then there is a national examination will be there. And then you have to competitive examination, you have to pass like MCAT. Uh, we, we, are, we got as a NEET, that is called NEET examination, national educational examination for the medical schools and dental schools, as well as Ayurvedic schools, homeopathic schools, and various medical schools. And uh, similar way, like engineering also, we have schools, uh, examination technique. This is the now five and a half years of full-time program. It's no part-time program. And of basically study of anatomy, physiology, dissecting the body and everything, pathology, and uh, full training program that is giving an award as a Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery. So Ayurvedic doctors, they do surgeries also. And uh, there's a specialties are there. Again, we have 22 branches of specialties after the graduation program. And in that programs, we have an, uh, uh, from the basic principles to the pathology, obstetrics, gynecology, and surgery, ear, nose, throat disorders, and panchakarma, and rejuvenation. A lot of specialties are there. We have listed all the information on the website, our website, uh, APNA, Association of Ayurvedic Professionals of North America. <clears throat> And um, I'm, I'm a citizen here, living here almost 20 years and uh, settled here in Pennsylvania. I have my own setup of my practice here. 
and I have more than 5,000 patients. And along with that, yeah. I do educational program. This is the thing is a part of the uh, life is a simple education is very important. Once we educate the people, they need to know the importance of their own health. Then they can do it. It is not like you know, simply changing the pharmaceuticals to the nutraceuticals. So a lot of people, they think about that. Uh, okay, let me take the pharmaceutical medication that is on a conventional medicine, like a chemical medicine. Along with that, okay, now I am getting a lot of side effects. Let me take the next level called as in a nutraceuticals, either is the aromatherapy or uh, some other therapy like a pills, vitamins, minerals, and all the things. So that's the nutraceutical way. Instead of that, beyond that, there is other system is there we have to admit to somebody, okay? I'm taking a lead of these things, okay? So Dr. Sheka, can I ask you a question? Yeah. This must be, you know, you practicing here in the United States, it was really interesting. Something you just said was how we often change our medicines rather than change our lives. Exactly, exactly. That is exactly, I see this one, even not necessarily, not only America, worldwide. Worldwide is the same problem. In India, also same thing. Okay, I'm taking a Synthroid medication. And for example, somebody is taking a Synthroid medication and they know that uh, it's having a long-term effect is there, something effect is there. But they don't want to be on the chemical medicine for a long time. And what they wanted to do, they wanted to switch to the nutraceutical, maybe selenium or vitamin C, D, or some other medication or some other herbal formulation like an ashwagandha or something they wanted to take it, but they don't want to change their lifestyle. They don't want to change their diet. They don't want to change their attitude. So this is the core values is that Ayurveda talks about the educating the people from the root cause of the problems. So why the problem coming? And what is the cause for creating the problem? Once we nip it, we understand clearly, then people will feel it like that. Like uh, we don't force our kids to the, go to the school. They first, we, in, in, we show them how great school system is there, how great our education is important. And once you are educated more, you will be getting you know, financial gains are there. Luxury life is there. Everything we are going to teach them, but still, some people, no, I wanted to drop out from the high school. There are several people, they drop out of the school. Why? Because there are so many factors are there in our society, family problems. And uh, lucky that in America, you don't need to pay until 12th grade. You don't need to pay one penny. Any school you can go. And what a liberty it is there. And <laughs> whereas uh, in India and we, other places, uh, some countries, they have to pay for their children to go to the school. Now, until 12th grade, we don't need to pay, pay anything. Now, some of the yeah. schools, some of the schools also, they offer the, I'm going to mute them. Yeah. So some of the places, uh, what we do, uh, we, we feel that uh, some of the local community schools, they offer educational programs and everything. That is the reason I always in my practice also, not only the health aspect, I look into that, their emotional issues, their family issues, their relationship issues, so many factors contribute for maintaining of the creating of the disease. Immunity is not like in a one magic pill. Okay, Dr. Shekha, give me a magic pill for me and I'm going to solve the problem. I will going to kill this virus. No, there is no magic pill like that. So we need to work on that, how to improve our immune system, how to bring the balance of health, not only immunity, your psychological condition, your emotional condition, your relationships, and your peer friendship with your colleagues and everything like that. A lot of people, competition between the, from the practitioner to practitioner, jealousy, anger, frustration, these all the problems are there. Why he is making more popular? Why he is making more money? She is making more money. Why she is the president of the uh, association? Why can't we have fighting between fighting like that? Hey, I can contribute my side. 
my side this is the contribution i can do it i can work with you this is the way and also inside anger frustration jealousy and all the, these are the diseases yes these are also diseases which we don't notice it for example you are jealous with somebody that indicates that you are having imbalances there you don't need to have physical disease you have mental disease so how can we how can we con uh, contribute this one how can we balance that one how to be happy and helping the people like that that's the thing our goal is to improve the individual health and also some people they are more greedy and also more demanding how much you give the knowledge for them they don't do it first simple thing i give them simple thing hey this is the banana you eat it dr shekar can you peel it and give it to me that is the mentality they don't know they don't know how to peel the banana but can you show me how to do it that means uh, that much of uh, interesting is not there if i am talking something for example i am teaching in the in the in the consultation i am talking i put a paper and pen and i put let them write their own language in their own language i don't write it whereas if you go to the doctor's offices they give the sheets for you with the yellow markers and this is the thing this is the thing this is the thing you have to do it that's it whereas here when the patient comes to me i take them different way approach let them sit there hold their hand when we hold the hand they feel that uh, secured as we are a healer and we need to support them every level and is that amazing keep keep a tissue box next to you and once you start doing that uh, they started to cry yeah that's a natural phenomenon so when Dr. Dr. Shekha, you you hold your patient's hands i mean that that just there says so much that we don't hear often of a doctor coming and touching your hand almost here they're phobic of it it's transference and all these other crazy words we get by, it, by intention do. we don't show it like that yes i am here with you the assurance we are giving in us such a assurance for them that assurance gives the confidence like a mother holding the baby's hand how do you feel more secured more yes. happiness that is the healing part starts so as soon as the patient comes okay i have i have a thyroid problem give me a prescription that you can go and shop, shop around you can do a, a shopping and they on amazon you can buy anything like that you put the symptoms google will tell you what medicine you have to take it then we don't need to have all the practitioners are required so this is the one thing and being our association called manual lymph drainage association as international and i am thankful to lisa for inviting me for this uh, uh, speech lecture webinar and um, let us look into that uh, how our uh, immune system how it is can improve by our uh, simple techniques of being and i am also licensed massage therapist uh, we have done a lot of therapies for the people i have done more than 27000 massages wow 27000 massages dr shake wow so what happens uh, when we are touching the person our intentions are completely different we are always thinking about that uh, how the chakras are working how the body lymphatic system is there how the bone structure is there how the muscle alignment is there how the where the pain is originating whether it is a physical spiritual emotional or traumatic there are so many factors which you take into consideration these all the factors will can create contribute the disease so we look into that uh, every person is different so knee pain some people may have knee pain origin is different cause one is psychological physical like any meniscus tear meniscus uh, damage is happened synovial fluid is difficult like that or any tendon break, breaking something can happen 
our old age. These are so many factors are there. In addition to that, emotions. Emotions also, can you release it? Then automatically they started to feel the difference. So these are the so much of knowledge. One lifetime is not sufficient to learn the entire system of healing. So coming to this uh, factor for today's session, what we are going to discuss about the how to improve the immune system. These many years living in the decades of the time, we were talking about immunity, IgG, IgE, so many factors and testing and everything we are doing, like a skin testing, blood work, saliva, whatever the secretions coming out from our body, everything we are testing. Still, we are not able to control this pandemic effect of a coronavirus, which is a small, minuscule, which we cannot see which we cannot see, but we are fearful. We are worried. We don't want to send our kids outside and we don't want to go outside. We don't want to see anybody. We don't want to talk to anybody. And we wanted to cover our face. Previously, once upon a time, we wanted to hug and, uh, and this all the shake hand we wanted to do. Now, sorry, we don't do anything. So this is the thing. The whole world is in fearful condition. This pandemic, when it is going to end? This is the only comma is there. There is no full stop. Period is not there. When it is ending? So if these vaccines are going to completely eradicate the problem. How many vaccines we invented in the past? If you go on CDC, average kid will get 60 vaccines in his childhood time. 60 vaccines. Wow. So now how these uh, vaccines are interacting on each other, we don't know. And how they are affecting on our body, we don't know. But can we deny it, these vaccines are not good? No way. Because it's proven, scientifically proven, the effect is there on the vaccines. But can we have a vaccine and go on out and uh, dance and drink and meet with everybody? No, we have to maintain the social distance again. We have to keep the mask. We have to maintain. So this is the coronavirus has taught us a lesson, a hard lesson for us. That hard lesson, what we learned, personal hygiene, social hygiene, and eating a good healthy food, exercise, relationship, all the factors we are learning. Still, we wanted to do mistakes, then finally it will kill you. There's no mercy. There's no mercy whether you are a rich person or a poor person. They don't care. Corona is going to kill the person. But the thing is that here, it's important that uh, why all people are not dying, and I have statistics are there, why some people are recovering, why some people are in a critical stage coming and what is the secret behind that? Let us look into that more detailed way in our lecture and I'm going to discuss about yeah. these points. Recently, this was a lecture given to the uh, Russian doctors uh, those who are interested to learn about Ayurveda and Ayurvedic principles and everything, I'm going to I'm going to accept them. No, I don't need to accept them. Okay, good. So good. Are you able to see? I can see it. Good. So let me make it a big big screen. Great. Ayurvedic immune system boosters. We are always looking for the boosting our immune system. That means, uh, do, we not, do we not have any immune system? Yes, we have our immune system. But how to boost that immune system stronger, not to get effect, effect on our body? This is my activities. And I, I, not only I'm the uh, practitioner, 
I am also actively involved in the founding director and president of the Association of Ayurveda Professionals of North America. It is a global organization with 57,000 members from 134 countries. And in addition to that, I am also organizing various conferences, educational program, now 40th international conference. We are very fortunate to have Lisa on board with 39th international conference. She was speaking on that, our conference. And we have various conferences. We are able to do it, uh, product line and everything. That's my brief information. So the information provided in this webinar is exclusively for the educational purpose only, not to diagnose, treat, or prevent any specific disease. So this is the standard disclaimer we are giving to you. That means whatever we are discussing here, this is not a prescription for your practice. You need to have individual practice or consultation with your healthcare provider or any health professionals, a qualified person to take this knowledge to us. And this association, MLD, is not giving any responsibility, any legal responsibility that all the lecture which I am giving, it's not sole uh, thought processes of my, myself and it's no way is kind of construed to the uh, MLD International Association and our Lisa or any board members. So now we look into the, this is the statistic just now I got it. Global, global pandemic condition, COVID-19 cases are, that is the case I don't need to mention, deaths, recovered, active cases, closed cases. That means I wanted to tell all the audience that COVID is not going to kill everyone. If the killing is happening there, this number has to come down. <laughs> that means uh, this 85 number has to come here, deaths. That means whoever COVID got it, that means they are not dying. Only some are dying. Who are dying? Those immune system is compromised. And those people who are having a very morbid, comorbid conditions such as diabetes and cancer or autoimmune conditions, various conditions of obesity or something, you know, cardiovascular problems or something is there. Because those people are also going to die one day, but they are dying earlier because of COVID, because they are not able to make it successfully for a long time. And being as a health professional, sir, this is our responsibility that to make sure that uh, we pray for everybody, for all the departed souls and the people who are living here and those who are hospitalized and frontline workers who are working with us. And we are always praying for them. We are giving the encouragement and uh, strength to them through our lectures and talks and with the loving um, uh, vibration to them and to support their health and wellness. So what is immunity? Immunity concept is not, is not mentioned now. It is thousands of years back. It's also mentioned in Ayurveda. It is mentioned as a Sanskrit word. Vyadhi Shamatva. Vyadhi means disease. Shamatva means, shamatva means resistance. Resistance to the disease. Not only the physical disease, mental disease, spiritual diseases, any diseases that is all concerned under that. This is called in Ayurveda, simple word called bala. Bala means strength. So like somebody trying to fight with you. If you are weak, what you do, you will be defeated. If you are strong, they cannot, they cannot fight with you. So when the disease or pathogen or virus or a bacteria or microorganism, anything invading, invading on you, your system has to protect it. For that, what are the solutions are there? Good healthy diet, lifestyle, emotions, emotions, and good daily routine, seasonal routine, 
this is the thing so ayurveda talks about that uh, and because we are all eating we are all developed countries we are living we have clean water some of the countries they don't have clean water they don't have food but fortunately we are in developed country we are living united states where we have a plenty of water good water good air everything is there but still we are psychologically affected we are in a fear we are worried always worried and that has to go away why we need to worry if you do mistake only you are worried if you don't do mistake we are not worried fearless i my my audience i wanted to tell all the professionals huh? fearless dare devils that's the way we need to look into that huh? strong be healthy and happy and then prevention can takes place rapid re- recovery from the even though if you are afflicted with the disease that can be covered it can come out of the crisis easily by recovering by improving the immune system i am going to tell you a lot of secrets to you today and which you can practice in your day to day life and to take home some of the information along with this way and to learn and conceptually improve your overall health so according to ayurveda ojas ojas ohas or ojas so ojas is an ojas is an final refined product of digestion and assimilation absorption that is a fluid which is connecting to the consciousness and mind so it is like an a sap of the tree sap of the tree like like a maple tree everybody knows maple syrup is coming so if you put a dot a cra- scratch it maple tree and you started to get a, some sap what is that sap that is sweet juicy latex substance is coming out is it sad the pl- the, sa- the plant is sad no but it is allowing the body to take it like that we are allowing the body like that it is coming out like a mother is giving the milk for the baby breast milk it is a nurturing fluid it is the one substance which is omnipresent in human being only that is the reason the people are the human be race is considered as highly evolved dogs and cats are second level horses elephants and everything all the animal kingdom is second level whereas the human being is a top level but sometimes we go downward we are worse than the animals <laughs> we are worse than the animals so what we do we eat their animal we eat the, those animals bats cats dogs fish everything we eat which they are innocent animals we kill them we eat them for our luxury purpose if tiger eats you how do you feel if crocodile eats you eats you how do you feel same thing if we eat crocodile we feel happy if we eat a barracuda we are feeling happy if we eat a fish we feel happy if rats started eating you how do you feel this is the way why we have to torture the animals why can't we take in the natural way of the food aware about the food knowing about these things uh, and eco friendly way we can look into that and ayurveda also mentioned to eat the animal protein for the disease or condition as a medicine food as a medicine the father of the medicine said that food as a medicine food is never considered as a recreation or a luxury some people born to eat some people living to eat the, the difference is that we are not born for eating we are living we are eating for living so this concept if you remember eating for living born for living 
So the people who are born and eating, 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 and eating can creating all the problems. So Vedic Shamatva, which is also Vojas and Bala, which is also Kapha in the body. Kapha is a responsible for cohesion, binding, lubrication, joints, flexion, immunity boosting, and everything is there. So that is the reason when it is a balanced state, create the balance of the physiology more. When these diseases are afflicting on the certain areas, either it can be cellular level, organ system, or in the whole entire system, it can attack on the area. Particularly in the immune system, particularly anything, the pathogens are entering through passages, either through the nose, mouth, eyes, ears, all the orifices we have. So all the orifices, they can come. So a lot of times people think about that, oh, these orifices, they come. Even the toilet paper, if the coronavirus is there, what happens on the toilet paper? If you are scrapping it, the toilet paper through that also it can come through. But unfortunately, the temperature, the rectal temperature is more stronger than the mouth temperature. That reason, the temperature will destroy the virus. So God has given a protective mechanism for us uh, to not to invade certain types of diseases uh, to come through the various resources. So only the way is that it can come through the nostrils and mouth and everything. So touch and everything. So these are the pathogenic factors which we have to take into the consideration. These viruses and bacteria can affect on your immune system. So our goal is that to create the, eradicate the disease, to improve the immune system stronger. That is the reason everybody thinks about the immune system stronger. I am not concerned about eradicating the COVID disease. I am here to support the people to improve their immune system. Now we are giving this 2019 as a COVID. And before that, we were worried about Ebola. And before that, we were worried about the swine flu. And in 2025, some other virus will come. But how to protect our generation to generation, how to protect our parents, how to protect our children, our siblings and everybody, that is our main goal of improving our overall health of the individual. So Vojas, when it is depleted, Various causes of the creating of the diseases, such as degenerative diseases, are recurrent infections people can come. So think about that. A person who is rep repeatedly getting of infections, upper respiratory tract infections, or lower respiratory tract infections, or UTIs, urinary tract infections, any infection, any sort of infections people are getting, that means their immune system is compromised. Their immune system is weakened. When their immune system is weakened, it has to be taken into immediately, not by taking of antibiotics or anything like that. <clears throat> so for this wholesome food, unwholesome food, eating a regular good routine is very, very important. Routine, a regular routine and indulgence into the unwholesome food those type of things can lead to various imbalances and diseases. What is unwholesome food? What is healthy food? What is unwholesome food? Some of the patients, they call me, Dr. Shaker, by the way, I'm eating a lot of junk food. Then, then if they know that is a junk food, why they are eating? First question. If they know what is junk food, if they are, I was eating bad food. Why you are eating bad food? You wanted to kill yourself? And that is the question I ask the patients like that. Huh? Why you are eating? I am emotionally upset. So emotionally upset means, that means uh, you are making an you know, excuse food for you. Food is not a, a a compromising like what you are doing, you are upset with your husband or wife or your mom and dad or your society or your president, then you are eating bad food. That's ruining yourself. 
instead of that you need to think about that huh? okay let me breathe let me go and take a nice exercise let me go for a walk let me talk to by phone by with somebody my friend good friend because it's emotion it's related to the emotion not related to the food you need to find out if you are hungry go ahead and eat even if you are eating potato chips i don't care can you live only your meal in the potato chips no potato chips is a is a snack along with that you are eating some salad some dessert some uh, some uh, some vegetables some meat something you are eating along with that a complete meal that is the thing we need to look into that uh, the immunity is not based on the eating of only junk food only wrong time eating also influences your health untimely eating so think about that suddenly in florida now hot weather suddenly they are getting in a 50 feet snow can their cars will work on the road they don't know how to drive the car when if it is the if it is the 1 feet snow is there in the florida or arizona they don't know how to drive a car their car is not meant for that whereas in in uh, in uh, michigan or in new york buffalo if you get a 20 feet snow no problem nothing nothing happens to us whereas if suddenly we get the temperature 130 degrees temperature in michigan people will be deep fried like a chicken so this is the thing according to the climatic conditions we are adjusted to this certain areas how we are connected to that so this is the thing is very important that uh, according to the diet according to the living country where you are living how you are living how the habits are there all the things having influence on health and wellness so here the question is that irregularity in your lifestyle two things are very important irregular lifestyle unhealthy food can contribute your immune system first of all i ask you close your eyes meditate for 2 minutes take a paper and pen what junk food you are eating write it this is self awareness and what is junk food what is a good food think about both ways what you do i am not saying that to stop the junk food so i ask that lady what you are eating junk food what is junk food i ask question junk food is dr shaker uh chocolate ice cream and uh, potato chips popcorn then i ask that uh, can you show me on the wrapper anywhere it is written junk food and any of the wrapper is written there potato chips lays potato chips junk food chocolate junk food popcorn junk food never written there why you are giving me bad name for this uh, potato chip or popcorn that means what is happening nothing is junk in the world moderation if you eat it it becomes healthy like for example i give you 50 pounds of salads only you have to eat salad every day morning breakfast lunch dinner every time you are eating like a salad like a cow or a buffalo can you survive without having any salad dressing like a cow in front of the cow what we do we put all the leaves grass and everything they eat cha these things and they bring this much of shit for us can we do it no we have to taste the food that is the reason what i do i tell my patients family together sit together to improve your immune system make a grid of the seven days grid breakfast lunch snacks dinner 
Monday to Sunday. There is no holiday for the tummy. Unfortunately, we eat 363 days. Unfortunately, there is no holiday. Christmas Day we eat, Thanksgiving Day eat, and Valentine's Day we eat, New Year Eve we eat. And more we eat. So sometimes we are eating more than that, what we are needed. Or sometimes we starve too much. So there is no balance. So that is the reason what is affecting on your health, immune system compromise. Yes. When the root cause of the problem is that the creating of the disease is happening there, the root cause of the problem. No, 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 Dr. Shekhar, I am already suffering with the diabetes. I am already having cardiovascular problem. I am already having autoimmune disease. I have an uh, scoriasis, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, heart, uh, the angioplasty is done. Then waiting for death. At least what you can do, you can change now also. It's already given so many chances God has given to you to survive. And you need to change your diet, lifestyle, emotional balance and everything. That's the reason I always tell that uh, find a good friends. Dr. Shekhar, it's very difficult to find a friends. It's impossible. You can find easily on the Facebook, LinkedIn, everywhere you go there. If you are good behavior and everything, you can get a more and more friends. Good friends are there. And delete the friends, unfriend them. If they are, if they are giving, bothering you, unfriend them. Leave it. Don't hold any emotions. And then your immune system becomes improved. So psychological balance is also improves your immune system. It's not like a physical thing is only thing happening there. So Dr. Shekha, do we all get to friend you on Facebook? <laughs> or are you already at 5,000 and more? <laughs> yes, when we have 5,000, we reach there. We have other ways to go. They can be following you. They can follow you. That's the thing, you can do it also. Because we cannot accept everybody. Then once we reach the 5,000, then we can ask them to follow you. Then they can follow your as your postings and everything, there's a ways to go to the LinkedIn, other accounts like that, you can go through that. Huh? And sometimes you can direct them to come to the website, what is going on like that, by email subscription like that. Then what is happening within you? What is your goal of uh, teaching your way of reaching out people? If for example, you become so popular, 8.7 billion people are wanted to talk to you. Can you talk to them? No. All population in the world wanted to talk to you. Is it possible? No. So that is the thing. Don't worry about them. Just move on. and But don't compromise your daily routine. So one lady said that, huh? hey, why you are not eating food? You know that, Dr. Shaker? My kitchen is renovation. That is the reason I am not eating good food. And when she has a beautiful kitchen is there, she cannot eat any food because she is already in the hospital. Because she will have all the diseases are there, then she cannot use the kitchen. So what you needed to do, you need to have a backup plan. That means uh, your toilet is uh, blocked. That means you don't go to the toilet. First unplug it, take it, clean it, then you go to the toilet. <laughs> Same way. Simple thing, as simple it is there, you have to maintain these things. Sir. So this is the very important thing. People has to realize that uh, their own responsibility. If you got sick, your husband is not going to take care of you. He cannot take your pain out. You have to suffer. Either if your husband is suffering with the disease, he has to suffer. There is no way, just we can compliment, hey, I wanted to give a cup of water, tea, coffee, whatever the things you can give it, but he cannot share your pain. This is the thing is very, very important that you have to suffer. If you are inviting the disease, you have to suffer as an individual 
but there is no way to share with anybody. You can share your cookie with somebody. I have no problem. But you cannot share the disease with anybody. You have to suffer. It has to ripen within you. There is one saying is that you may be knowing about Buddha. Buddha is a god of uh, this Buddhism. Lord Buddha. One of the disciples is suffering with severe migraine headache. Severe migraine headache. But he is a true disciple of uh, Buddha. One day he stand up. Not He, he didn't stand up. His friend said that uh, Buddha you are having a wonderful healing qualities are there. You are healing whole world population. They believe you. They are reading your preaching and textbooks and everything. Why can't you heal this person? Your disciple, he is suffering with migraine. Why don't you do some magic recipe or mantra or something, give it to him. That way his migraine is disappeared. Then what he said that I cannot take it out. It has to ripen its own way. Like a fruit ripens on the tree, let it fall. Once it is fallen, it will be completely tastier and beautiful. Same way, if the disease is disappeared from him, automatically he will never have that disease will not come. That means allow the body to heal itself to improve the health and wellness and by meditation, relaxation, manual lymph drainage, all the lymphatic systems, if you're doing like that, a good healthy lifestyle and everything, you can improve your overall health. So, Ayurvedic approach is the multifaceted approach. Not only the way of uh, eating of food, emotions and sleeping, and detoxification procedures also mentioned in Ayurveda. We do natural way of detoxification body called that is called Panchakarma therapies. So similar way of a lymphatic drainage, what you do, all of you, then what we do, we give them special kneading therapies and massage therapies and everything that brings out the toxins out. We also do the Marma therapy. Now, right now I'm teaching online these courses on Marma therapy. If you go to the global Ayurveda conferences.com, where you can see all the webinars I am teaching. And uh, that is a very good for the, all the lymph uh, doctors who are lymphatic system, who are experts in the lymphatic system and how to drain your lymphatic system through this uh, marma therapy. And that is a very good vital point to press it and remove it. And it's a very powerful way of uh, technique we teach them. And <clears throat> what I mentioned to earlier to you, mistaken intellect. In Ayurveda mentioned, and I'm going to chant a sloka for you, a Sanskrit sloka. Dhi dhruti smriti vibhrastaha karma kurute ashabham pragna paradam tam vidyat sarvadosha prakopajam. That means when your intellect, your memory, your recollection, all the disturbed, then you will do mistakes. Simple, as simple it is. One patient said that, uh, Dr. Shekhar, yesterday night I was so hungry, middle of the night, I woke up, I don't, I don't see anything in the home. Finally, I found a dog food, I ate it. Why? She drank whole night. She smoked and hunger has increased. She forgotten to carry some of the vegetables and fruit, but she had the money for buying the alcohol. She had the money for buying the cigarettes, but she doesn't have money for the vegetables and food. And finally, in the middle of the night, she woke up. She was hungry with all the alcohol and smoking. She has to eat a dog food. How sad it is. And what medicine is going to work for her? Come on, tell me. What lymphatic drainage system is going to work for her? Until she has not realized that Prajnaparada, when the buddhi, intellect, is not changed, 
mind is not changed. That type of people are there in the society now. Can we change them? No. We have to leave them alone. We can't do anything. The only the people who are interested to come to see you, those people only can help you. Make sense? And as a practitioners, as a teachers, I recommend that all of you don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. You don't. You are not here to change the world. Who are you to change the world? First, change yourself. Don't change the world. First, change yourself. That is in your control. If you are not able to change yourself, you can't change others. If you don't know how to change yourself, how can you change others? You don't know how to eat food, good food, healthy food. How can you improve their somebody's health? If you don't know how to cure your own diabetes, you cannot call yourself as a diabetes expert. Make sense? So this is the way we look into that, uh, how the diseases can be a mild, severe, acute, chronic, and easily curable and difficult to cure. Our certain diseases are incurable. Dr. Shaka, let me, yeah. I know that it, this is so beautiful. Everything you're saying, I just like, I feel like a sponge listening to your wisdom. But, you know, this year, because it was a challenging year for so many and the worries were there for people and the concerns and the healthcare providers were challenged on many levels and they were stressed out and just talking among our, our colleagues how they have they were tired or they did, they just started eating what was available because their schedules were all off. And now going into 2021 and trying to make those necessary changes, and, and you're right, we have to do it first for us before we can tell it to somebody else. That is 100%. The reason is that what's happening, I have in a lot of health professionals, doctors, nurses, frontline people, they work, come, come, come to see me. What I advise them, I ask them, if they are dying, they cannot stop it. If the patient is dying, they cannot stop it. What they can do, they have a good routine maintenance and they wake up early, they prepare some food, healthy food, put in a containers, take with them to the workplace where they can work. And if they're making extra food, they can make extra. Lot of health professionals, they don't have a good healthy lifestyle. Lot of people, they don't eat healthy food. How many health professionals they smoke? How many nurses they smoke? How many doctors they smoke? How many doctors are psychiatric medication addicted? How many doctors are medic addicted to the opioid medications? We are not healthy. How can we make others healthy? That's the bottom line. That is the reason some of the doctors are overstressed because the work is extra stress. In addition to that, they have their own health problems. They are also fighting with the diseases, autoimmune diseases, or some other disease of uh, metabolic disorders, some obesity disorders, some other disorders. Those people are also killing themselves. So what we needed to do we need to protect our doctors, our professionals. We have to work with the team to shield them such a way that uh, every day morning, since last year March, I pray for all the frontline workers around the globe, not only one country, around the globe, sending in a positive vibrations to them, Reiki healing for them. That is the only thing we can do it. I cannot help the doctor in Uganda and Kenya or Australia, but I can send a positive vibration to him or her and to improve their overall health. That is the only thing I can do it. The transmission is very important. 
So that is the reason Ayurveda talks about various factors to improve the overall health of the individual and everything. I think time is getting up. How much time is left for me? Um, you know what? I, I actually can't see the time. So it's about four, four o'clock now. Five, five, forty, five, three, five, fifty-three. Okay, so um, can about I have fifteen minutes. Or? Yeah, few minutes. I can talk. I can talk. I have free time now. I can talk. Beautiful. Good. So we are all acquired with the acquired immunity, and we are also acquired with the various ways like that. Acquired immunity is coming from our parents. If your parents are strong, healthy automatically their family members, their children and siblings and everybody become stronger. And there is an also, there is a natural uh, immunity. Whereas acquired immunity by eating a good, healthy lifestyle and healthy food, such as spices, condiments and diet and lifestyle and everything. And third one is we are also acquiring through the medications like a vaccines, tablets and everything, protecting measure me mechanisms we are doing. These are the ways to do it, uh, ways to improve that. In psychological immunity also is very, very important. Personal hygiene is important. Uh, and uh, this all the subject matter is there. And then I'm going to give you one simple recipe for you to improve the overall health of exercise. This is the thing is very important for the people. And we are not doing exercise because why, why we complain about that? Because you see that I, I cannot go to the exercise because I cannot go and do exercise in the uh, gym. Whereas you have beautiful basement in the furnished basement, all the dumbbells and everything is there. Treadmill is there, but in the treadmill, dusted. Nothing, you are never used with. We have, we have a lot of excuses are there. We never use our own, uh, this one. And weight lifts. A lot of things are there in the home. We don't use it uh, because the reason is that uh, the gym is not open. And even you don't need anything. You can do yoga mat, which costs you $5. You can buy in the dollar store and which costs oh, nothing. Then put it in the yoga mat, do yoga, breathing exercises, run, jog in your own home. This is the thing is important. 50% of the disease can be cured by doing a proper exercise. So if you throw your laziness into the toilet, then you will become healthy. Only the one thing you have to throw. If you think that uh, you have a laziness is there, laziness is the biggest enemy. That is the one is killing you. But once you start doing a good healthy way of living and happy and connected to yourself, then you will become happier and everything. So timely sleeping, timely eating are important factors. And there is also you train health and mind, karma, meditation, spiritual growth. So many factors can be taken to that consideration. And uh, I'm going to give some special remedy here. This is the thing. Immune boosting home remedy. How to improve your immune system stronger? Get an organic ginger. It doesn't cost anything. Fresh ginger, peel the skin and grate it. Make a juice of it. Fresh juice. And once you make the juice of it, lime or lemon juice, vitamin C, natural vitamin C. Get lime juice. Two parts of the lime juice or lemon juice. Raw, uncooked, organic honey. Combine three together. In a big bottle, you can keep it. And every day, you take one teaspoon, one tablespoon every day. Before the meal, your appetite is increased, digestive system improved, and your overall health and immune system is stronger. This is a secret of your health. This is a secret of your energy. And if you feel that... It is too hard for you. Then what you do, you increase the dose of the honey. More honey, less ginger juice. And the portions can be changed according to that. Ginger, lemon, honey can improve your overall health of the individual. And over, 
and improve your immune system stronger. And we have so many formulations are there, fetting free formula. This is recommending for the, all the physicians and practitioners who are there. What they do, they take the warm milk, almond milk, soy milk, uh, rice milk, those things. It's available here. Ashwagandha is an immunomodulator and a very good uh, supporting for the immune system, stress modulation like that. Estimate the licorice powder and Vidari Kanda, Ipomia, Digitata and Yams. And Kapikachu is the Mucina Prudence is good for the nervous system. And Shilajit is a building of the tissues and immune building like that. And also cardamom and cinnamon. This combination of powder is mixed with together with the warm water or warm milk. One can drink it. This is available with us. And all the packets are available here. With the tea packets like that is easy. Packets are available. You can get it from us. And we'll be happy to support you and help you in that direction. So this is another thing is that I am doing since March, last year, March. Of course, beginning from the beginning also I'm doing. This is the thing is very important. Always drink the hot water. Sipping of hot water. That is improves your immune system. It is interesting that a lot of people responded very well. And in addition to that, uh, I give the formulations, uh, simple oil application in the nostrils and uh, immune boosting capsules and uh, immunity detoxification like that. Uh, elimination. A lot of people having, that is the reason. It is not a consultation I am doing here. I am, you are, if you are interested to have a consultation with me, personalized consultation, I will be happy to do a phone consultation, Skype consultation, video conference consultation, anything personal consultation. I will be happy to do it for you and we will work with you and to improve your overall health because I love you all. I wanted to support you and help you and we wanted to work together and improve individual health, not only our health, we can help so many people. Dr. Sheka, I I just wanted to interject because those who are going to be watching the video, I hope you heard what Dr. Sheikha said, that drinking the warmer is better than drinking the colder, which we've learned in lymphatic, all things lymphatic. It responds better with warmth than it does with the cold because the cold constricts those tiny vessels, especially in the digestive region where the warmer would open it up. And here he's got this beautiful program and you often ask me, what should we drink? What should we eat? And I keep telling you, we need to go back to the Ayurvedic diet. We keep finding out that that is the one that really helps the lymphatic system all the way up into diseases like Alzheimer's. Yes. So Dr. Oh. Sheikh has got so much there that I hope you do take the time to, to set up an appointment so, to talk to very, him. Very, 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 Lisa, it's very simple that uh, when we are taking simple thing, that when we are taking shower, what type of shower do you take it? Cold shower or hot shower? Simple, as simple it is, hot shower. Why we take hot shower? Why can't we take a cold shower? <laughs> we freeze it ourselves because because cold constricts and heart expands. Your digestive enzymes, gastrin, pepsin, amylase, all the enzymes in, the, in your stomach, they are already there. You don't need to inject any, because you are born with uh, any capsules or machine. You are not in a born in the pharmacy. You are born from the mother's womb. You came out naturally. Why you are not you are not born in the Walgreens <laughs> or CVS? Think about that direction. You are born, of course, you are born maybe in the hospital because of some crisis is there. That's the reason maybe you may need to have a cesarean section or some uh, high risk pregnancy is there. That's the reason you are born. But you are not born in the hospital means so that doesn't mean that uh, you are born from the vacuum. You are born from the mother's womb. So, but you have a natural innate qualities are there. First of all, you need to remember this one, hot water sipping always, uh, carrying a $5 worth of uh, hot water is a cheap, damn cheap. You can do it and drinking. If you wanted to have flavor, you can put a tea bag of mint tea or um, uh, peppermint tea or any tea, uh, your, uh, uh, herba mate tea or anything you can drink, uh, herbal tea drinking, sipping of hot water, that means no drink water, don't drink water, sip the hot water repeated times, so 20 to 30 times per day, and automatically any bacteria, virus is entering in the mouth, it will die. It is clears up these things. Another thing is important that if you test your tongue, if tongue is white coated, that means you have a toxins are there. 
is a very simple if your gut is a clean the tongue is the index of your stomach the tongue is the index of your stomach your face is the index of the mind your face is the index of the mind if you cheated somebody your face expression changes if you robbed somebody your facial expressions are done if you did something wrong your facial expressions are changed if you did something wrong eating food your stomach your uh, tongue changes so as soon as you drink the hot water give me a one week time in one week time your tongue changes indentations so there is a course we are teaching on the tongue analysis this two day course you can take this course also online course so we are teaching a lot of courses pulse analysis course and marma therapy course online food and nutrition courses mother and child care courses there are panchakarma detoxification courses so many courses i can teach and i am so happy this corona has taught me a lot and i am not afraid i am not worried i am becoming more and more stronger i am helping the people in various levels by teaching educating the people and i am becoming more strong i am empowering everybody to become stronger i wanted you to be stronger like me and to empower the society and to bring the good health good vibration to everyone then we are all be healthy and heaven on earth will be there heaven is within us heaven is not anywhere heaven is within us within the country so one patient asked me that dr shekar what is the best place to live in the consultation she asked me mm-hmm. i said that uh, where exactly where you are standing that is the best place you are happy you should be happy if you are not happy in your own place how can be happy in other place yes that is a, as simple it is if you are not happy in your own home how can you happy in the world if i take you to the heaven also there also you will have complaint dr shekar there is no wifi sir, here <laughs> i need to download some of the information even if you are in heaven that is the biggest problem comes here because we are never happy we are never contented what we have it we never happy what we have we what we don't have it we are always looking for something instead of that think about that what you have it be happy and grow if you don't have it what you have it be happy first when you are happy you can acquire something when you are sad your immune system goes down instead of staying in the home you have to stay in the hospital in the icu and now icu is not going to take you because icu only critical people are there and that is the problem now because doctors what they can do they cannot help anybody and some of the people who are in the critical stage they cannot help they said they're sorry we cannot do it we can't do anything we cannot put them because icu is full so hospitals are getting full because this is not a fault of the doctors this is the fault of the individual we have to take the responsibility of our own health to improve overall health of the individual and you can seek for other colleagues peers who can contact them dr shekar i wanted to change lisa i wanted to change i wanted to change the life what you can do for me how to improve this is the lecture i believe that uh, this lecture will help you all of you to further intrigue into the knowledge more and to help you in the direction i wanted to share you one slide last slide to you my contact information and uh, which i am going to share with you this is the information i am going to put it for you last slide this is the thing my contact number is a uh, Uh, you can reach me at 484-347-6110 or send an email to me drshaker@gmail.com or visit all these websites where you are connected to me and you are all with me i am happy to connect with all of you and thank you very much for giving us such a wonderful opportunity for me to connect with you enlivened souls and a wonderful opportunity for me to educate you and i am happy to do more workshops with you more training programs with you we are all together we are all going to together fight for the this uh, improve our not only immune system and overall mental health physical health spiritual health we all meditate together 
and to bring the happiness and health and heaven on earth we can create it in this world thank you so amen to that dr shaka all the way around this is the year to get happy and healthy yes and dr shaka gave us some you know the, the nuts and bolts of the basics but yet with that that ancient wisdom that still applies today and that's why we are mld institute international i always em emphasize it it's not just one it's it's a global embrace we need all our doctors and everyone to bring the best of what their culture has to the table and you know what i think that that's going to be the start of putting the, the country and the world back together when we care about our mental, physical, spiritual health. And I just can't thank you enough, Dr. Shaka. I enjoyed it. You, you had me laughing so many times. I actually had to mute myself. <laughs> I think he's a part-time comedian. He's a gifted comedian too. And I tell you what, we, we just so enjoyed your time here. It's and very important for us also because it's not like a seriously talking. Take it easy, talk friendly in a loving language, simple language, what we are talking about that and connect to the souls, connect to your heart. When we talk to them, connect to their heart. That's very important. And the same thing which my professors taught me and my parents taught me, my family members taught me, exactly my patient teach me, same thing we need to connect with them. Then we have a loving bond between the patient and the practitioner. That is a very important. And yeah. as you enrich them, they love you. They care about you. They think about you. And that is exactly what we needed to provide it. Uh, that love only persists forever. The bond between you and us, of course, the credit card, plastic cards and everything, that is a run through that secondary business. But the love is a very important factor. The consultation fees and everything that is a decay. Besides, but if you are able to change the person, if you improve their health, there's no value in that. There's no value in that. What is the cost of the John? What is the cost of the Lisa? Can we calculate in the market value? Whereas if I wanted to sell my uh, the, the eyeglasses, huh? this may be $50. If I wanted to sell something, $50, we can make. These are all materials. Whereas human being, we cannot sell it. We cannot sell it. What is the cost for that? We cannot put the value for that. So that is the reason we are fortunate. We can communicate. We can. We know how to love. We know how to connect. What we needed to do, we need to connect to each other. We need to love each other. We need to support each other. We need to live together. That is the message I wanted to give it to all of you and help others. And if you are not able to help, maybe some other person can help. Sometimes I tell my patients, some of the people, they don't listen to me. I tell them that, uh, sorry, unfortunately, it is not in my scope of practice. You maybe need to find some other practitioner. By saying that one, you are not insulted. You are not insulted. You are putting a break. You are putting a break for them that, hey, this is the thing. I am not ready to change it. You, you are not listening to me. What can I do? You cannot help everything. You cannot take it personally also at the same time. It is not your fault. So, but first of all, you go back to yourself. What I can change it. What I can do it. Then once you do it, then you will be successful. You are happy. You are contented. Whole day you will be all. That means what I tell that, I work all seven days, but I have seven days holidays also. How come? Because what I do, I love it. As soon as it is there, that's it. What you love it, then there's no holiday for you. But I take a rest. Fortunately, I eat, I sleep very well, eight hours. I eat timely. I wake up early. I meditate. I have time for everything. Beautiful. We're going to strive to get there, Dr. Dr. Shaka. We're going to get that schedule back out, dust off the treadmill, 
yep. eat better and we're going to your website because yeah. I know you've got the, those vitamins and things too yeah. that you can't find anywhere else. And yeah. I had been told by some of your students about them before. So I'm so grateful you left this here for us so that we can stay in contact with Dr. Sheka, guys. There's so many different ways um, from, from his personal consultations to emailing him to his seminars and the products. It's all right there to kick off a new year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste to all. And uh, feel free to contact me. I'm not far away. I'm one phone call away from you. That's it. Thank you. My phone number 484-347-6110. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Great. All right. So have you saved this recording? Okay. So make sure that stop. Uh, sharing and uh, you need to save it recording yes so just bring the hosting back to me dr yeah. shaka and I'll, I'll i'll take care of it yeah that's good so any questions i see the other supplements in picture that's michelle and there are some supplements can be recommended for people who suffer with depression and immune system yes we have uh, so many things are there here uh immune immune response immune response tea and the form of tea with the hibiscus flowers and licorice and ginger, fennel, cinnamon, cardamom. These are the tea bags, individual tea bags. Boil in the water, put in a thermos throughout the day drinking, sipping throughout the day. And very simple. And we have also made a formula called golden milk. Golden milk is a turmeric, anti-inflammatory.